In this set of videos we will be talking about the Math Operator nodes. For more information about a specific node and its properties, you may access our node list in the Amplify Shader Editor wiki. Feel free to check the video's descriptions for useful links. The Add node does an arithmetic addition of up to 10 values, which is done per channel between multi-channel data types. Connect both texture samples to the Add's inputs, then its output to the albedo. Select the rock D and the force shield pattern textures. Compile the shader and observe the results. Both textures values were added together through the Add node. Addition is commutative, so value order is not important and swapping the inputs has no effect on the end result. The Multiply node does an arithmetic multiplication of up to 10 values. We'll be using it to control the speed of the Panner node, which will be responsible for moving the UV coordinates of a texture. Let's add one texture coordinates, one vector 2, one float, one multiply, one time parameters, and one Panner node. These new nodes will be addressed in later videos. The Panner node receives its UV coordinates from the Texture Coordinates node, the Speed Vector from the Vector2 node, and the Time Input receives the final result of multiplying the Time Parameters node with the Float node. Connect the Panner node output to the second Texture Samples UV. Set both X and Y as 0.5 and both the Vector2 and Float nodes as properties. Compile the shader and observe the results. The Vector2 node sets the direction for the effect, while the Float node adjusts the speed. Multiplication is commutative, so value order is not important unless we're dealing with matrix multiplication, which we won't be covering for now.